Hello. This video is being made on the behalf of Melinda. She sent me a picture of a problem and she has asked me to explain this a bit further for her. So everybody please tune in. This is a vent for a sleeve. So um, let's go. So I've cut the sleeve out as you've seen but it's not all about the sleeve, it's all about the actual vent and how we get to it. So I just quickly cut a sleeve shape from my memory. So please do not ask for the measurement of this, it's only a demo. So we're going to get on with it. So I'm going to get my machine out and we're going to make this vent for you. Right, so I've done red and white so you can see it. Right, and I think I'm going to use the, the white as the lining and this is the main part. So we're going to stitch this up and get on with it. Now I've cut both of my sleeve, the lining and, and the main fabric. And I've cut them both the same. But the lining, I don't need this flap. So I'm going to cut it off. I can either cut it off or leave it. But I will cut it off later. So I'll remove this. In fact, I'll, just, I'll cut it off now to show you that I don't need it. Now let's deal with the flat first. I'm warming up my iron. So we're going to do a seam allowance just going from there. And then I'm not going to stitch down here because I'm just going to iron it. And that's going to be my crease. And that will be my guideline. turn this jacket up say roughly that amount. I'm just using it as a ruler, as a guide my line. So my jacket when I turn it up there's my guide line. This is just a quick demonstration. Now, one side is going to be mitered, the other isn't. That's my jacket. So I'm going to mitre one corner. So this corner here is going to be mitered. As I said, it's just a quick demonstration. I didn't check whether it's left or right, so it doesn't matter. It's only one sleeve showing. So there's my mitered corner. Come on, let's get this straight. So that's the mitered corner. But what I did is because this is on an angle, because it's on an angle, what I did is when I folded it up, there was a marking there. So I used that marking and disregarded this one because it's out of line. It's almost like when I'm making the curtains and I get them both equal, but this kitchen I don't. So I've got this one equal and this one is out of line. So we've made a new marking if you can see it. So that one goes there and that one goes over because of the angle, right? So this in the end is going to be stitched up, this. 
and this one here is going to be left alone. But I'm going to stitch it that way, that's it. I'm going to stitch it that way. So let's open this one up, the other side. Right, so we're going to fold this back because we've got our marking there. And then we're going to bring this up and I'm going to wangle this out to meet the edging. So that's going to be stitched up there. So in effect, what we're going to do here is we're going to turn this the other way around and we're going to, all right, let me, let me get my pins. I'm going to grab hold of this bit here and I'm going to turn it inside out and we're going to stitch along this line here making sure that this is lined up so let's stitch this line now but when I stitch this I'm not going to go right up to here. I'm just going to stop around here and you'll see why in a sec. So here we is. This bit here, we're going to stitch this going down. Mind you, to do a perfect job, I should have used the red cotton, but this is just a quick demonstration for Melinda. I'm not going to go right to the edge, I'm just going to stay there. And that's it. Remove the pins. And then turn this. In. So you've got that on that side. Now, on the other side, on the other side, we've got this mitered corner. So there it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab hold of this here. Grab hold of it. Turn it inside out. And there's that line there. We're going to follow that line. So let me pin this for you. So there's a triangle, so that line there, we're going to stitch on that line All right, and hopefully, hopefully the two should meet up. I didn't double check, let me double check, because you want this perfect actually. Yeah, they're, on, they're together. So we go from point to point, let's make sure we've got that point, I've slightly missed it. So there you can see, there's that triangle there, and there's the other side. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it back inside out. Hold it like that. And turn. You can cut that off if you wish, but I'll leave it the time being. So here we have our mitered corners. It is slightly different from um, when we do on the corners of the curtains because we hand stitch this but for those who don't really want to you don't have to but we do that it's more perfect so that's how you get that and I'm going to iron that and nice and flat and what happened is that one goes on top of the other 
Yeah, so the mitered corner. Right, so that's that. So we've got one like that, mitered, and the other one isn't. Yeah, let's move on. Ah, while I'm here, let me, what did I do with the lining? Let me stitch the lining up. There it is. The lining, all you do is stitch it from there and complete it. Uh, because what I did as well is, I've cut this the same size, but actually it's not going to be the same size. I'm gonna to have to cut some off. So because this is a demo, I'm gonna just move it upwards and recut this bit out because it's only for the purpose of showing you. So. And when you do jackets and sleeves as well, to fit this in, there's normally a pleat somewhere that you pleat this up. So that's the lining ready to go in, and then what we'll do is we'll iron the seam allowance open, or open it up. There, yeah? just iron it. And that's that. Right, stage two. Now here, I'm gonna overlap it, I'm gonna recut, I'm gonna overlap this just a little bit here, just say an inch over. And here is where I'm gonna stitch. Now I'm gonna pin this down and I'm gonna reverse it around for you. With my box pin. What I'm doing is I'm pinning it so that when I open it up, I can see the inside line. So let me see now. I'm going to just stitch it down to say, just up to there. Up to there, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. So I'm gonna grab hold of the inside and I'm gonna turn it inside out. Making sure this bit's on top. And it's this section here, from here to here, I'm gonna stitch a line going down. And that's it. Let me go, let's open this up for you, there. And that's down there. So I'm gonna stitch from there to there. Now, make sure, I'm gonna make sure I miss this bit in here. So I'm going to cut that off later. Let's get rid of that. Let's turn it upside down. Now, let's make it bigger. 
Now don't forget, I said I didn't cut the sleeve from a pattern, I just did it from my head. So now I'm going to cut this excess off. I don't need it. And some of that's going to go as well later, but it stays underneath. Right, so we've got that. Now I'm going to turn it back inside out. Remove the pins. So there, you can see it from this side. Let's turn that back in. From this side, you can see I've got it like that. Oh, let's turn that over. Right. I've got it like that. So I've got the mitre corner on top and I've got this one just there. Right, so that's there like that. So that's that. Now, the problem is now is how do you get your lining on? Now, I've stitched that and left it open, but it looks like it needed to go a bit more down. So I'm going to open up a little bit more because I need to be able to stitch. My lining goes from here, go all the way here, go all the way around. But this is where you've got to do some tricks going here because there's going to be a slight little hold left there. It's so small, but by the time you put the buttons on, it'll be fine. So that's what it is. And let's turn it inside out so you can see that. Um, we can nip this corner here so we can open the slip, this bit here and that stays flat there. Okay, like that, and we press it. Now, as I said as well before, my sleeves is not from a pattern, so let me just shape it up. Let me shape it up. Can you see that? Let me shape it up so that you can see the end result. Right. Okay, and as I said before, let's, let me see, because it's lined up with this, this needs to be a bit longer. Let's take this down a little bit more. And I did some back stitching, so I, to allow for if I don't back stitch it again, it will be fine. That'll do. That gives me enough room. Here we have it at this stage, and then I'm going to cut off some of the lining, and the lining will go there at that stage, but inside. Yeah? Right, let's move on to the next step. Oh, let me show you it inside out as well. And that's what it looks like there. There we have it. So by the time you put your buttons on it, it will hold it down. And you just have a little bit of a flat there, but that's it. And Melissa, when you're doing it, I noticed that you've curved it. Right, if I was you to curve it, I would use this one, curve it, and put that one on top, if you want that curve, but this one is on top, all right? And to curve this and do the mitre will give you a problem. So you're going to have to do the reverse. No one's going to know, except for you. Right, so that's that. Um, and then it's just I'm out and putting the line in, in. Okay. Now, as I said, this is a bit too long for it, because that's it. So this will go up, say, roughly there. But if I move that up, right, so if I move this up, this section will be too wide for it. So we're going to disregard that, put the sleeve in and reshape the top of the sleeve because this is near enough the same size as this. But as I said before, if you're looking to sleeves, normally somewhere along the line, there is a pleat there for ease and comfort of the sleeve. Right? So it will fit regardless. Right, now, how do we put this sleeve in? That's another story. Okay, let's turn this back the right way. The other way around. And let's turn the sleeve now uh, in, yeah, this is it. Normally it's, it's that way we put it on. 
So, let's put this down. There we go. There's a center seam. So that will go attached there. And all the way around, we put it in. Now my lines are not straight, so it's just for the purpose of this. So that's how we're going to put the sleeve together, and then we're going to put a little pleat in it. Where's my box of pins? So here we line this sleeve up with there, so it's lined up with the stitch mark. Can you see? Yeah, it's lined up. Yeah. It's lined up. Yeah. So we're going to pin this now to this. Right, remember that pleat I told you about? I'm going to put the pleat right here. We're going to put the pleat properly where the elbows is. Right. So that's there. And we're going to stitch all the way around. And we're going to stitch it as close as we can to where the pleat is. Now underneath here I can feel the pleat, this pleat here. But well, we've got to make sure that this stays in line. Make sure that stays in line. And then Now it's difficult to see, but in here, in here, what I've tried not to do is to get the one underneath because I've got to have to stitch, stop, and start again. So there's just going to be a slight little hole. But at the same time, I'm going to make sure I get the lining on. All right? So now I'm just going to one or the other. I think I'll leave it that way. Normally we push it in. Normally we push the sleeve in, but because of this we can't. So I'm gonna leave it as it is like that. I'm gonna open it up here as close as I can here and stitch going all the way around to the edge. Inside. almost as though we're, we're going blind here. If 
if I haven't done it further down enough, I could always redo it, move it a bit over. There's my mitre corner. I lay my mitre corner down. and check it. The idea is to go in as close as I can. Uh, so I've stopped there and there. Let me see now. If I can get in a bit more closer, I'm going to put it back this way and go from the top bit. Because I, I don't want to leave such a big hole. And if I did, didn't matter. Right. Try not to sew the one underneath. You could draw a line if you wish. Alright, so let's take these pins out. Can you see? The gap there. If we can get any closer, we'll try and get closer. But it doesn't matter, the buttons are going to hold it. So we remove the pins, and so far, I will grab all of the bottom and pull the lining over to just check it. So that's how you get the lining in, and it continues there. Yeah. So the lining, if this was a bit bigger, wider, the lining can go further up. But as I, as I said before, I didn't check anything, I just did it, just to show you how to do it. So that's the sleeve in. That's the sleeve in. Now let's look at it from the other side and see what we've done. I'm pleased with that. I'll iron it, move this over, and that's then that's it done. And then you just put your buttons on top. Right, let's see if I can find some buttons to put on top. And there's look, there's that little hole there. There's a little hole there. There's that little hole there that I was telling you about. There. But if we can get closer and closer up until we stitch on top of it, you won't, you won't see that hole. But you see, when you put the button on top, you can't see it. So that's a little thing that it looks like it, and you can hand stitch that if you want, but you, you don't really need to. So that's job done, really. Right, so there's your finished product. There's your sleeve. And to make this, finished job for you. I'm going to cut this top bit off. I'm going to go and look for some buttons. Ah, the things I do for videoing. Two. 
And there is your paint. See, by the time you put the buttons on here and you stitch them down, nobody is seeing the inside. And it catches the lining as well. All right, and that will be stitched down closer or hand stitched down if you wish. But quite honestly, the gap that you're leaving is so small it doesn't matter. But that is your vent sleeve and to look at it from the other side that's what it looks like from the other side Melissa I hope you're pleased with that and thank you for the challenge as well <laughs> I haven't done one of these for a long time, but it was good uh, and it was quick and simple. It didn't take long. It doesn't take long. But as I said as well, because you you want to curve it and you're going to pipe it, the, the mitre corner that is normally on top, put it underneath and then you can curve the top bit and do what you like with the top bit because the top bit, the left hand is different from the right one, the right is different from the left hand. So it's up to you but I hope that makes it easier for you. If not, slow this video down and just watch it. And I hope it's clear enough. If not, maybe one day I might do it again. But I did enjoy it. Thank you for the challenge. Bye.